Hello website friends, it's Pauline here. Today I want to take you on a behind the scenes tour of a client website that I think turned out especially beautifully. I'll show you one or two aspects and discuss the design decisions that we made and also some of the features of the website and why we took those decisions. So uh, a director's cut tour, if you like, today. This is Patrick Hurley's website. Patrick is an experienced author. He's also a university academic. And his book, Religion, Power and Illusion, is a new topic for him. He came to me. We were keen to have a very professional looking website. The topic, of course, religion. We wanted to emphasize that this is an analytical, evidence based um, piece of work, and also to emphasize um, Patrick's credentials in academia to um, show his readers and show members of the media that uh, that this is a, a serious and credible piece of work so he has of course a really nice book cover um, love the book cover and this served as our inspiration for the color scheme for the website and the supporting images so patrick was very gracious he gave me more or less um, free license in terms of design choices and I was able to pull out several supporting images that do not in fact come from the book cover, but with a little bit of image editing, I was able to make this background here look entirely plausible and on theme for the book cover. Um, immediately on the homepage, of course, we're introducing the book, we're adding some questions for people to think about. And then down here again, um, two purposes for this section. Number one, it's very beautiful. Again, I did not have the image that made up the, the book cover here. So I selected this one to look as if it was very much um, from the same um, visual feel. And of course, a great um, thing to feature on your author website is any praise that you've got from early readers, beta readers, um, and critiques and blurbs. Patrick also has a small blog section on his website. And again, for the images that represent these three um, highlighted blog posts, these were very intentionally chosen. Of course, they're supposed to represent the subject matter of the blog post, but I was um, very intentional to make sure that these are high quality images and really make the website look gorgeous as well. At the bottom of every page, so this is now the website footer, which means it appears on every page. I have an email sign up form here for Professor Hurley. And this, um, in fact, is driven by MailerLite. So this little section that you see here with the forms that people, the form that people can fill out, this comes from MailerLite, and then it's embedded into the Squarespace website using um, a tiny bit of code. But this section, then, you see on every page of the website. Over here, if you've noticed um, the little person in the wheelchair icon, this is an accessibility widget that aims to give additional viewing options for any of your website visitors who are um, disabled or they have viewing difficulties or they have other needs for how the website should appear to them. So that's what's going on there. This is a pretty simple author website. Um, when we look at the menu structure, uh, there is a book section that covers the reasons for the book. Um, it's not super usual to have the table of contents on your website, but because this is a, um, a book with academic leanings, we did include this. And then, of course, on the main book page, once again, um, some lovely imagery that really supports the book, plenty of reader praise, and the all important places where people can buy the book um, when they want to. And again, I was keen that Patrick um, include mention of the fact that this is a logical and evidence based piece of work. This is not just him sounding off with some opinions that there's academic rigor um, involved and that he's got this very long um, 
professorial career at the University of San Diego. Um, his about page, of course, an author bio, nothing mysterious in that. And uh, on this page, and in fact, on the contact page, we make specific mention of the fact that as a speaker or as a visiting guest, Professor Hurley is available for things like book clubs or being on academic panels, um, podcast interviews and so on. I think depending where you are in your author career and what your marketing strategy is, it does no harm at all to spell out to people that yes, you are available and they may invite you as a guest. We put the logic books, so these are the previous academic textbooks that, um, that Patrick has published. We gave these their own page. However, we were very clear about the purpose of the website. He said to me he wanted the focus to be on the main um, book about religion. And that's why we didn't choose to have a whole books section where the logic books would be inside there. Because although these books have been um, phenomenally successful, um, he does now want the focus of this website to be on the book about religion. And so that's why these are playing this um, supporting role inside his bio. But I think it's also an interesting um, way to show you do have credentials as an author, even if you've written on a different topic, um, because, of course, he is applying many of the same skills of logic to his discussion of religion. Then I've already mentioned that there's a, a short blog um, section, not too many blog posts here, but you don't need a lot. Um, in each case, we've hidden the date when the blog post was actually published so that these can serve as more evergreen discussion items. And there's no pressure then on, um, on Patrick to keep publishing blog posts. And you'll see here by enabling comments, he's got a nice discussion going with people who have some reaction to the blog post or want to contribute to the conversation. That of course can be a big deal if you are um, attempting to build a discussion or a community around your book. The contact page, yep, this is a standard Squarespace contact form. So when somebody fills out this form, this lands up as an email directly in Professor Hurley's inbox. And he then has the choice of whether or not to respond to that email. Um, so this does give him a little bit of privacy so that his email address isn't actually published here on the website. This is a Squarespace form. And that then is distinct from down here, the email list sign up form. This is an automated thing where the email um, address would be added to Professor Hurley's mailing list and he can then send out marketing emails because he has, um, he has invited somebody to give permission to do that. Um, we do have links to his main social media accounts. As always, don't feel you have to be everywhere, only link to the accounts where you're going to be reasonably active and reasonably on topic for your author work. And then uh, best practice there for your website, um, a privacy policy, very simple, um, almost boilerplate wording here that enables Professor Hurley to comply with um, data privacy rules. Um, and overall, uh, that takes us through our tour of the website. Um, it was particularly rewarding for me to work on because the visuals came together so nicely. But you've seen there just some of the other features that um, really set Professor Hurley up for success with the site, including there's a very simple page here called News. This was the page that we knew he was very likely to want to make updates to himself. And so I designed this very, very simply. It's a bullet list of um, things that are going on um, in relation to the book, um, intentionally set up so that he is um, feeling confident and empowered to come in here and make simple updates when he wants to. 
many of my clients, when it comes to a big change or a new book or something significant on the website, um, many people do prefer to come back to me so that they know that that all looks wonderful and works perfectly. But I do encourage my clients for something like a simple news page or indeed on the blog page. Um, I love it when you feel able and happy to come into your website and make those small changes to keep everything fresh and current. So there we are, um, a really nice example, I think, of both a great looking website and one that is very functional, very professional, and uh, really helps Professor Patrick Hurley show up online um, in the best possible way. <laughs>